Are you the type of person who's always wondering, why doesn't my yo-yo sleep long enough? Is it broken or is it me? In this video, we're assuming that you're here because your yo-yo is not sleeping the way you think it should. Now, if your yo-yo is not sleeping at all, then we have another video that will help you out with that called, Why Won't My Yo-Yo Sleep At All? Now, we're also not going to teach you how to throw the longest sleeper possible in this video because that would involve buying a specific yo-yo or specific bearings or lubricants. In this video, all we're interested in is solving any problems that you might have with the yo-yo you currently own. Now, what we are gonna do in this video is help you discover whether or not your yo-yo has a problem, and if it does, we're gonna try to help you fix it. So to do this, we're first going to teach you a reliable method to test the sleep time of your yo-yo. Then we will give you a range of sleep times for various types of yo-yos, so you can tell if there's actually a problem with your yo-yo or if your yo-yo is already working as well as it can. Now, if you're wondering why your yo-yo is not sleeping very long when it's on the string, that's actually a slightly different question, and we address that problem fully in our Man on the Flying Trapeze video, where we go into detail about techniques and how to overcome problems with losing sleep time on string tricks, so you definitely want to check that video out if that's the problem you're having. To get started, we're going to teach you two methods for testing the sleep time of your yo-yo. The first one is called the drop test, and it tests the minimum sleep time of your yo-yo, or what we call the lower threshold. And the second one tests the maximum sleep time or the upper threshold. Luckily, the drop test is easier to perform, it doesn't take as long, and it's actually more useful in determining if your yo-yo has a problem or not. So to test the lower threshold or minimum sleep time of your yo-yo with the drop test, first, make sure that the string on your yo-yo is tightly wound, then hold your hand out, palm down, and just drop your yo-yo. Count how many seconds it sleeps until it dies, and that gives you the lower threshold of sleep time for your yo-yo. Now, depending on the type of yo-yo you have, make sure to test it a couple of times, and if you find that even once it sleeps longer than these numbers, your yo-yo is okay. Most of the time, if your yo-yo has a problem, then it will sleep well below these times, so even if it's close but not quite there, your yo-yo is probably okay, but if you're testing with this method and you find that your yo-yo only sleeps half the time or less, then you almost certainly do have a problem, and we'll try to help you solve that later in this video. Now, when you're testing the maximum sleep time of your yo-yo, or the upper threshold, you wanna make sure that you give it a straight and powerful throw, and make sure that the string is not touching the sides of the yo-yo. And then you just wanna wrap the string around your fingers and bring the yo-yo up, and this will allow you to more easily see how straight your throw was. Now, chances are, doesn't matter how good you are, your throw is not gonna be perfectly straight. Now this throw is pretty straight, but even if it wasn't, watch what you can do. If you pinch the string just above the yo-yo and you untwist the string just a little bit, you'll see that the yo-yo is going to start to lean. And uh, it does it pretty slowly, um, but you can see that it's starting to tilt a little bit this way. Now if you want to tilt it the other way, all you have to do is just tighten the string down onto the yo-yo and you can see now it's tilting the other way. And that's a good way to adjust the string so that as the yo-yo's sleeping, you can correct the tilt so that the string never touches the side of the yo-yo, which will give you the most accurate representation that you can of how long that particular yo-yo can sleep. And then the rest of it is, of course, just sitting there watching it, making sure that it doesn't move around too much until the spin dies. And that will give you the upper threshold. Now, like we said, if it passes the drop test nine times out of 10, there's nothing wrong with your yo-yo, and you just need to improve your throw or technique during tricks. Now, if you came to this video because your yo-yo is not sleeping more than, say, a minute or a minute and a half, remember, no trick really takes that long to perform, so it isn't really a problem that'll hold you back as you practice. Now that we know how to test the upper and lower thresholds of your yo-yo, uh, we're gonna take a closer look at four different kinds of yo-yos brain or clutch yo-yos, fixed axle yo-yos, responsive ball bearing yo-yos, and unresponsive ball bearing yo-yos. Brain yo-yos are yo-yos that have a clutch on the inside that will keep them from sleeping until you have a sufficiently powerful throw. Once you've got your throw down, these yo-yos have a sleep threshold of about zero to 20 seconds before the clutch will activate and bring the yo-yo back to your hand. So if you were to just drop a brain yo-yo, it won't sleep at all because you need enough spin to open up the clutch mechanism on the inside to make it sleep. So if it's your first yo-yo, you may feel like you're throwing super hard, uh, but chances are you're still not throwing quite hard enough to get it to sleep. 
So just keep practicing and it should start working on its own. Now, if you're afraid that there is a problem with your yo-yo, it may be that the string is not on the yo-yo properly. The string needs to be wrapped around the axle two or three times, but not knotted around the axle. And we show you how to do this in our video, how to put a string on a yo-yo and adjust it for play. Also, you may want to take your yo-yo apart and make sure that the axle is installed correctly. Basically, the side with the O-ring needs to be inserted into the side with the clutches. So if you want your yo-yo to sleep longer, you can also remove that O-ring, but this will keep it from returning automatically. Fixed axle yo-yos have a sleep threshold of 3 to 15 seconds. So if you drop your yo-yo and it sleeps for 3 seconds or more, there's nothing wrong with it. You just need to improve your throw. Now, if your yo-yo is only sleeping for like a second or less when you drop it, first check your string tension to make sure that it's not too tight. Uh, you can also make sure that it's only looped around the axle one time. Also, look at the axle itself and make sure that it's smooth because some Duncan yo-yos with metal axles like butterflies and imperials, if the axle is not centered, it can have a rough surface that will keep your yo-yo from sleeping as long as it should. Responsive ball bearing yo-yos have a sleep threshold of 5 to 45 seconds. Again, if you drop your yo-yo and it sleeps for at least five seconds, most likely there's no problem with your yo-yo. Now, if you are concerned that your responsive yo-yo does not sleep more than, say, 45 seconds, again, it's quite difficult to get any responsive yo-yo to sleep longer than that. Now, if your yo-yo is not sleeping even five seconds when you drop it, or if it cannot even sleep 10 to 12 seconds with your best throw, that usually means that the bearing's not spinning. This can happen if you over-tighten the yo-yo, so you can try loosening it just a half turn and see if it works better. Uh, it can also happen if the bearing has gotten rusted or locked up um, so that it's not able to spin at all. If that's happened, you can try adding a drop of thin yo-yo lube to free it up, and if that doesn't work, you may need to clean or even replace your bearing. You can also check the response pads, make sure that they are flush with the side of the yo-yo. If not, you can press them back into the yo-yo. Now, if they fall out, which does happen with regular use, they will need to be replaced. And make sure not to get any lube onto the response pads because this can cause them to stretch out and even stick out of the yo-yo a little bit. And if that happens, most likely they will need to be replaced. Unresponsive ball bearing yo-yos have a sleep threshold of 10 seconds to two minutes or more. So with just a drop of the yo-yo, it should sleep five to 10 seconds with no problem. And with even a weak throw that's still straight, a 20 to 30 second sleeper should be relatively easy to get as well. So if you cannot even get that much out of your yo-yo, there might be a problem. You can always open up the yo-yo and make sure that the bearing can rotate. And if it can't spin, you should try cleaning it. We have a video that shows you how to do that. And if that doesn't fix the problem, you probably need to replace the bearing. Now, when testing the upper threshold for your yo-yo, the biggest variable affecting spin time besides your own throw is the bearing itself. And what I mean by that is if you had 10 bearings that are all identical and you tested them all, there's a pretty good chance that one of them might perform substantially better than all the others. Maybe the balls just fit in there just right compared to all the others, or maybe it's been blessed with the pixie dust of some random bearing fairy, who knows? Uh, the point is, is when we test for the upper threshold on yo-yos, we generally stop counting after about the two minute mark because really, when learning tricks, the maximum sleep time for yo-yo is not nearly as important as just having good technique. Even if one yo-yo has a maximum threshold that is twice as high as another, if your technique is bad during tricks, the friction caused by the string pushing into the side of the yo-yo will kill the spin time on each just as quickly. In other words, having a yo-yo with a super high threshold might be good for bragging rights, but that extra spin time won't necessarily increase your enjoyment when doing tricks, because honestly, who just wants to do this all day? What is more common with unresponsive yo-yos is that they are not sleeping as long as they used to. Now this can happen if you've had a yo-yo for a while, but you've never lubed the bearing. It can start to feel a little gritty and that will negatively affect the spin times. Also, if you notice that sleep times have diminished after lubing your yo-yo with thin yo-yo lube, you might've put in a little bit too much. You can break that lube in pretty fast by performing a bunch of pinwheels quickly with a lot of force. Doing aggressive pinwheels like this for five to 10 throws might solve the issue completely. And as you play with the yo-yo even more, it'll even out that lube and it'll work better and better. If that still does not help, even after an hour or so of play, then most likely you way over lube the bearing. And in this case, you'll need to clean it. Now, if you have an unresponsive yo-yo and it passes the drop test and you can get it to sleep for at least a minute, but it's just not sleeping as long as you think it should, then that might be a different problem. For example, uh, maybe it doesn't sleep as long as your friend's yo-yo, even though it's the same as yours. To figure out what the problem is here, 
uh, try putting a new string on each yo-yo and then switch yo-yos doing a long sleep test. It may be that one of you just throws better than the other. If it's clear that one yo-yo is sleeping better than the other, try trading bearings, since bearings are the most important part of getting a long sleeper in an unresponsive yo-yo besides technique. Now, in very rare cases, even when switching the bearing, one yo-yo might not sleep as long as the other, and this could indicate that something is wrong with that yo-yo. It could be the response pads, or it could be that the surface of the yo-yo around the response pads has a little burr or an edge that is causing a lot of friction on the string. This is super rare, but if it is there, it will affect your spin times, and it might also cause your string to fray or break prematurely. The nice thing is it's easy enough to just sand that burr down with a little bit of sandpaper and that will solve the problem. Now you may also have watched a review about a yo-yo that said, oh, I can get this yo-yo to sleep for like 10 minutes. So then you get one and you get it right out of the box and you test it and it doesn't sleep even close to 10 minutes and you're feeling like you got ripped off. Again, bearings are critical here. Even with identical bearings and identical yo-yos, the spin time can vary greatly. At the end of the day, if your yo-yo can sleep over a minute, it's best to just comfort yourself with that and practice your tricks. Longer spin times really won't help you learn any faster. Hopefully this video has helped you out and cleared up some things so that you can get back to the enjoyment that is yo-yoing.